What's up, our fans? I'm Tommy from ZND Comics, and today I'll be reviewing our season 2.5, issue number one, Blood, part one, Return. Wow, that's a really long title. But uh, anyway, this is a new digital series on the DC Comic app. You can just find it there. You can actually pick these comics up at your local comic book store once a month. They basically do this every week or every Monday, and then after four issues, they put it into an actual comic and then ship it out to the store. So if you don't feel like, you know, you don't feel like, you know, waiting and everything, you can just pick it up at the app store, but if you feel like waiting for some stupid reason, you can just go to your store. They're also doing Flash Season Zero, which is basically the same thing, a digital comic before the, you know, the new premiere and everything, so you can also pick that up, same time, Mondays, every single week. So anyway, let's get started with the review. So, these digital comics are pretty short, so there's really not much to talk about, but basically what happens in the beginning, we get the, sort of the intro to every episode we've seen so far, it's just that we see that it's in comic book form. The art looks pretty good. It's definitely dark. It's reminiscent to like Batman sort of. And I would just say it looks a lot like the TV show. Uh, we can kind of get, it's the same intro that we were going to get in our season three. Uh, how we beat Deathstroke and how he has to be something else. Really Batman like. Now the first thing we jump into is actually pretty deep. It's um, a family and a, doll, a son. Now, I'm guessing the son is Roy Harper. I don't know. Basically, his father's going insane. He shoots his wife, curses a little bit, and then shoots himself. And the son is just sitting there. He's probably like probably nine years old. So that's probably what happened to Roy Harper's parents. That's just my guess because I don't really know who else this could be. And it's really deep and very, you know, like that would really blind him. Like that, that's, that's a scar on his brain when you're seeing your parents kill themselves at such a young age. It's really deep. And basically, the whole plot about what's going on right now is there is a drug plane uh, somewhere flying over, I guess, Starling City. And basically, War Harper and Oliver Queen, you know, they're calling themselves, we got Green Arrow, and basically, they're calling him Speedy, or at least, like, you know, Green Arrow's calling him Speedy, and he's like, don't call me that, I'll pay you so much money. And that's pretty much what happens, but I want to talk about one scene, and that is the boxing glove arrow. Now, of course, because this is trying to be realistic, um, I think it's... I think I guess Felicity called it the boxing arrow, but basically Oliver was like, don't ever call it that. You're looking at the picture right now, is he just shot the arrow, and then the tip of the arrow expanded to just a ball and smacks him in the face. So, of course, now that he doesn't kill, something like this makes sense. So I'm glad that they kind of made like the boxing glove arrow something realistic. I mean, it makes sense. It's, it's a normal arrow, you get the speed, then before it hits its target, it expands, it just knocks him out. I mean... I wish they maybe, if they have this in the TV show, hopefully they can explain the technology behind it because I like to be a little bit more realistic. Maybe, you know, Raw Ray Parmel can, like, you know, create this boxing glove arrow. But, um, of course, this is before the season three premiere, so that can't really happen. But, uh, yeah, pretty much they take over the plane and we find that there's one more guy missing. Oliver shoots an arrow, scrapes Roy Harper against the chest or I think the arm, and then shoots the guy in the shoulder. And the plane, because they had to open up the plane literally with an explosive arrow, War Harper goes flying out. And that's pretty much it. Um, the next episode, or the next thing, is going to be called Blood Lives. So this is pretty interesting. I mean, this takes place between Season 2 and Season 3. We are already getting a bunch of things like, one, when War Harper is going to be called Arsenal. You know, his costume, we're going to be seeing new arrows, like the boxing glove arrow. And it seems pretty good. I'm really interested. And I'm more excited for The Flash, because... They can have so much more of an opportunity to do anything they want to Flash because they're not really restricted by what happened previously, like kind of like what Arrow is. But anyway, this was a pretty good issue. I give it a 7.5 out of 10. Nothing too good, but a good start. So what are your thoughts on it? If you didn't pick it up, I highly suggest you do. It's a great issue, or you can just wait to get it at your comic book store. But anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video. If you want more reviews, I'll see you later. Have a great day. Ready, aim, fire.